America's next top model contestant Mariana Pujar and three others gunned down by this man in a brutal homicide, say police. Now we're learning that this known gang member, Manuel Rangel Hernandez, reportedly was protected by the Obama administration from being deported. And that has left our next guest demanding answers. Joining us now is Iowa Senator Mr. Grassley, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee. Senator, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, Tucker, always glad to be with you. Thank you. So are we certain um, that this man, Rangel Hernandez, did apply for DACA and was protected from deportation by the administration? Uh, I have information from a reliable source that uh, leads me to believe that not only was he a suspected gang member, but as you use the words, quote unquote, known gang member, why was he left in this country? And then obviously he's now being held for the murder of these four people. So my request of the Secretary of Homeland Security is, I want to know why and what led to this decision. Did he apply? Was he a known uh, a gang member, et cetera? And uh, I expect this information and backup documents from the Secretary of Homeland Security. I gave a March 9th deadline. They surely ought to meet it. Uh, I think there's a bigger problem, though, uh, Tucker, and for a long period of time, I and my staff have been noting within the uh, Department of Homeland Security, uh, immigration division of it, that there's been a great deal of peer pressure among adjudicators to get to what we saw get to yes. In other words, if you can't approve these people and they're denied, we're going to send it up the chain of command for approval because we, uh, the, the message goes out then that we want these people not deported. Yes, and virtually no one is deported. I mean, it's just a tiny number of people, relatively speaking, who are deported, correct? Uh, and, and early last year, there were 36,000 people that were put up for deportion. Uh, de deportation and then were uh, uh, released and some of those had even committed murder. Now we have this example of Rangel Hernandez uh, being, uh, uh, being given deferred action and responsible for the murder of four people. The president himself, if you remember, said a year before DACA was uh, announced that he didn't have the constitutional authority to do it. So here we have an amnesty issue that has led to the murder of four people. Hmm. Is there anything Congress can do about this? Uh, sure, we can uh, uh, take away the president's authority. We're trying to do that now through an appropriation bill. Uh, we can pass a, a, a good immigration bill that secures the borders and make sure that we have interior enforcement. So. What ha will DHS get back to you? Well, you've, you've demanded to know, was this guy given a stay of deportation? They haven't responded yet. Do you think they will? Well, they better. Uh, you know, uh, I'm chairman of a committee. Before I was chairman of a committee, they always used the excuse that they didn't have to respond to an individual senator, only chairman. Now, they don't like to give these answers out, so I wouldn't be surprised if they'll come up with some other reason that they can't give the information out. But it's very embarrassing to them, so you can understand why, why they might be reluctant to give out information that would uh, further demonstrate that the president's constitutional, uh, unconstitutional Constitutional action is leading to murder. I can certainly see that, though they generally probably don't fool with the committee chairman. But we'll see. March 9th, is that the date? Yes. We'll be following it. Senator Chuck Grassley, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Thank you.